What up, S fam? It's your boy Drill Sergeant Lynch. I'm back again with another mother freaking video. First time to the page, obviously. Comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, stay updated with the videos. Currently, S fam, y'all know that I just had a interview to be a drill sergeant leader, and I wanted to go over y'all a little bit of the process. When you go, I like to call it an interview. All right. One of the first things they had me do in the interview was to give them a biography, let them know the things that I've been doing while I've been in the army. Also, this has to do with promotion boards also. Anytime you are a specialist going to be a sergeant or a sergeant going to be a staff sergeant, you're gonna have to go to a promotion board most likely. When doing that, you're gonna have to give a biography. I wanted to go over this stuff about the biography. Make sure in your biography that everything is in chronological order from date from when you first got in the army until your current time in the army. And I'm gonna show y'all what my biography looks like, okay? Now, S fam, this is just my biography here. I'm not advising that you put down all the same amount of information that I put down as far as the details, but the format of this biography is something that I would recommend you following to an extent. Your biography, you're gonna have to type it and you're gonna have to know it almost word for word. It doesn't have to be word for word, but you wanna know basically, you wanna know just in order stuff that you've been going through, that you've been in, right? So starting off, so you wanna tell them what your name is, of course. You can tell them where you were born. Include your, if you have a spouse and kids, include that stuff in there too. They don't need to know their ages. When I told them my hobbies, I didn't specifically tell them on YouTube. You could tell them where you went to school at before you joined the army. So you're gonna let them know also what year you joined the army, where you went to basic training at. Um, let them know your first duty station. Tell them your first company that you were with at your first duty station. And you wanna throw some things in there that you've done while at your first duty station. I told them I went to air assault. I gave them the year that I went to air assault. I gave them the year that I went to, that I deployed. Everything's in chronological order. I went to air assault school first. I got married. Right after I got married, I deployed. Tell them what you did once you came back from your deployment. Everything in chronological order, S fam, is really simple. It doesn't have to be anything very, very detailed. Given my next duty station I went to, and then once I got to my that second duty station, that's when I went to the promotion board from specialist to sergeant. So if that's all you've done for the sergeants, you tell them that right there. Let them know that right there. Just include your duty stations, S fam. Let them know what duty stations you've been to. Also, you wanna include some short-term goals, maybe two short-term goals and two long-term goals. Make sure your goals have something to do with within the army type stuff. If that's what your goal is, you wanna be promoted to a sergeant or you wanna be promoted to a staff sergeant, those should be short-term goals. Your long-term goal should be something, you know, within you being, being in the army. They like to hear about you being a sergeant major or a first sergeant, I know that. I know some people have gone to the board and when they say, I just wanna be a first sergeant, they might ask, why don't you wanna be a sergeant major? I told them specifically me, at the time, I didn't wanna be a sergeant major because I didn't see Sergeant Major as much as I seen First Sergeant. I know the First Sergeant is gonna have more interaction because they're there in the unit with the soldiers more than the Sergeant Major is. The Sergeant Major has his own, but I didn't see the Sergeant Major as much as I saw First Sergeant. So that was my reason for telling them that I wanted to be a First Sergeant. That's what my goal was, my long-term goal. I definitely included some college, and at one time I, I had in my bio that I wanted to retire, that I, you know, I wanted to have a house built and stuff like that. Also at the very end, S fam, you wanna include your awards. Let them know all the awards that you have. AAMs, ARCOMs, let them know about your deployment medals, all that good kind of stuff. If you have a combat action badge or air assault or even a driver's badge, include that stuff in there. So S fam, basically real short video, that's just one of the one of the things that you want to tell them about your biography. Also, I want to let y'all know, S fam, I'm still on cycle break slash reset right now. I had a good time today. I'm currently, while on cycle break and cycle reset, I'm taking a pose running class. So this is a class that's basically giving techniques on how to run to help prevent injuries, especially for soldiers or trainees that are in basic training. The Army's getting big. They're going to start getting really big on this pose running. Y'all can check out Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is good with pose running on YouTube. They have videos on him, how he does his pose running, the reason why he runs so fast, and he doesn't have as many injuries. That's about it, S fam. Just wanted to go over at least the biography. When I went to the drill sergeant leader interview slash board, biography was one thing that stuck in my mind that I thought that I would share with y'all about just to help y'all out. 
And that's all I got for y'all today, S fam. Just to hook y'all up, it's your boy Drill Sergeant Lynch. S fam, stand up, stay focused and motivated. Get motivated up in this jank one time. Deuces, S fam. I'm gonna talk to y'all later.